Hi, I'm Anna. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you how I organized my petal dust and my dry colors and how I use them to make beautiful leafy paper butterflies. Let's begin. Let's talk about petal dust and how to keep them organized. If you know, petal dust are coming in different shades and most of the time in these small containers. The brand I use most of the time is the Sugar Art and their petal dust come in very handy and beautiful containers that are actually easy to open and easy to store. But for me, what I find is when I have too many petal dusts, uh, I would prefer to see all the colors at the same time. And I used to use these containers I have three of them and the difference between these containers is they are all for different petal dust for edible so this is my edible petal dust these are non-toxic petal dust and I mostly use them for my display kicks or something where it doesn't need to be consumed and this one for metallic and glitter petal dust and all of them are marked on the bottom so all these petal dust I have here are labeled these containers are very handy because you can see all these colors at the same time and you can remove each small container, open it up, refill with any petal dust you need or take with you if you're working on a project and for example you need only to use blue and purple colors. But the downside of this method is that I still need to open every little jar and I still need to access them one by one. And sometimes it's not what I prefer. Now I use this container and I'll show you how I set up my container for my petal dust and where you can get that. I have one for my petal dust. These are edible, the sugar art again. And I have another container similar to that, but this actually made for uh, small beads. You can buy at any craft store and I use it for my edible metallic petal dust that I can easily access in this container as well. So these are my metallic colors and these are my edible colors. You can see here on the top, I have my marks and almost all my colors are marked. So I have two more colors here. I need to put labels on. This is um, Midnight Blue and this is Forget Me Not. So usually I just take my container and I add my petal dust and I refill my container when I need it. But now I need to add two labels and for that I use my label maker and I buy clear tape for my label maker. So for example, I need to make my Midnight Blue label. So I'm going to type it on my label maker and choose print and now that I have my label I'm going to remove the sticky part on the back and place it here and I'll do the same to my forget-me-not And now I have my palette labeled with all the colors and I'm going to show you how to make beef paper butterflies using petal dusts. And to make my butterflies, I'm going to show you the easiest method I find how to make beautiful butterflies in almost no time. I'm going to use my template with all the butterfly sizes and you can find this in the description below. I'm going to take my butterfly and a piece of beefy paper up with the same size. As you might know, wafer paper has two sides, shiny side and bumpy side. I prefer for application of petal dust, I prefer to use shiny side as my face side and apply petal dust on the shiny side. And I'm going to take my petal dust. So mainly I'm going to use this color Cecilia Rose, Poppy, Daffodil and Aurora Rose, all these colors by the Sugar Art. And I'll take a few simple brushes to apply my petal dust. I'll start with yellow color or daffodil in the middle and I'm just going to rub somewhere in between this middle area of my butterfly. Then I'll probably take Cecilia Rose color and paint on the top on both sides. You can see I'm not, I'm not trying to be exact i'm just roughly trying to paint or apply my petal dust on top of my wifi paper somewhere in those areas for my 
bottom wing I'll take this darker rose or Aurora rose color apply it here and I'll take this red poppy color and add accents on the outside of my butterfly so what I have here doesn't look like a butterfly I'm going to remove all my axis petal dust and you can see it still doesn't look like a butterfly but I have my template behind my butterfly what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an edible marker and just paint all these black details of my butterfly like this because when I press it down I still can see all my details of the template and if you don't have an edible marker you can use airbrush color you can even actually use gel color and double zero or any fine tip brush dip your brush into your airbrush or gel color and use it to paint on your wafer paper like this and now that i have all my detail painted on my butterfly all i need is to cut it out like that and if i wanted to put it on a wire or add any decorations i would suggest you to use 26 gauge wire take just a half of your wire and to attach wire to wafer paper i'm going to take just a scrap piece of wafer paper and I'll take a little bit of water to sandwich my wire in between two layers of paper paper. So I'm going to apply a small amount of water on this piece of paper paper. Take my wire and then place it on the back of my butterfly like this. And now I have my butterfly on a wire. You can bend it and it's going to work for any of your cake decorations but i wanted to add a few small details so i'll take this brilliant sparkle and add just a tiny amount on the wings of my butterfly now it is more interesting and if you wanted to add any other decorations like i'm going to use edible glitter i'll take piping gel and a small brush i have a touch of piping gel on my brush and i'm going to dip it into my edible glitter and transfer onto my butterfly and I'm going to do the same on the outside in here and now I have my beautiful sparkly butterfly that I can put uh, as a part of flower arrangement or just on a cake as a decoration itself Thank you so much for watching if you like this tutorial give me a like and share with your cake friend and i hope you enjoyed my channel so please don't forget to subscribe it helps me a lot and i'll see you next week same time same place bye bye